You came out to this beautiful empty pool to have a good day today, did you not? This pool party thing looks awesome. I mean, come on, have a concert in a giant pool. I've never seen a swimming pool so big. It's like the size of a football field. It was a landmark. People line up thousands at a time, first 4,000, then 10,000, until finally on July 31st, 1936, the Karen Park Pool opened and 75,000 people showed up. It was a hub for connecting most of the communities. Then the pool closed. No notice, no information, and that was the end. It sat empty for two decades. There is something beautiful when you walk into that space. You feel magnificent. It just has this mystery. I just remember wondering, what did happen here? Why is this pool so big? And why is there no water here? The basic premise was that if we could fix it, we could use it. Nothing was going to stop us. I think there was a certain inevitability to McCarran becoming a music venue because it coincided with the rise of the music scene in Brooklyn. So many bands were here, so many bands started here. There's really nothing cooler than playing here. There's some of the best, most fun New York shows we've played ever. It had a mythical kind of, you know, intriguing kind of quality, like really bands have been playing in a place that used to be a, a public pool, wow. It's really an experience as opposed to just a show. To me, the history of the pool is the history of New York City.